when english is considered in the context of inner circle countries determining of the standards is easier however when english is considered in the context of outer circle countries that is the non native english speaking countries the issue becomes problematic we have two opposing views presented by two well renowned well known linguists uh, of the world on this matter one is baraj khachru and the other is randolph quirk let's take a look at what these two linguists have to say on this issue first let's take a look at quirk's view quirk discusses the spread of english under three models the first is what he calls the demographic model which is exemplified in the spread of english to north america and australia as a result of migration of a large number of people from britain to these parts of the world these people moved uh, to these parts of the world and established their settlements the second model that he discusses is econocultural model and he gives the example of latin as a classic example Uh, latin spread to different parts of the world as a language of culture knowledge literature etc he also uh, places classical arabic in the same model where arabic spread in the rest of the world as a vehicle of islam then comes the imperial model imperial model is uh, exemplified in the colonization of different parts of the world by different european nations Uh, in imperial model and in eco- econo cultural model we see that no large scale movement of the people from one part of the world to the other is involved in the imperial model a small number of um, movement of people is involved for the purpose of running the administration of the colonies for the colonizers and in, co- and in the econo econo cultural model the movement is very small only to the extent that uh, the people uh, who speak that particular language are needed to share their knowledge uh, literature expertise etc with people in different parts of the world although uh, to a larger extent all this is done through um, publications and um, writing etc quirk compares the spread of english nowadays with the econo cultural model uh he believes that these days english is uh, spreading in the world as a medium of science technology and business so as in the olden days latin and arabic spread uh, for the um, propagation of or for the sharing or spread of knowledge or islam similarly these days english is being spread as a vehicle of um uh, vehicle for um the spread of science and technology to different parts of the world there are two kinds of issues related to standards um which are connected with uh, this spread of english um one is uh, more general and the other is uh, a little restricted the general issues of standard are uh, the uh, the problems the concerns that people have about uh, the education as to which standard should be used in the educational d- domain uh whether the learners should learn american english british english or a uh, native variety of english the restricted issues uh, linked with standard have something to do with more special uses of english for example um the use of english um in uh, maritime uh, situations uh, which is called sea speak and also um the use of english in more restricted situations um for example for transnational uh, co- cooperation and in transnational corporations where different uh, p- people from different parts of the world have to communicate with each other for business purposes
when it comes to general issues again we have certain concerns linked with uh, the, these general issues one is uh, which is um, becoming which is coming to the surface uh, particularly these days is uh, the unwillingness of the speakers of english in the outer circle to accept the british or american english as the models which should be used for the um, people of their part of the world for the people of the outer circle countries and also expanding circle countries and the other uh, issue which is related with the general issues of standardization the other concern is the false assumptions that people have about the different uh, varieties of english according to quirk people have made these assumptions uh, about different varieties of english that they are good enough for their own region or that um, they are not deficient or that they are uh, not uh, an example of incomplete uh, incompletely learned english so according to quirk all these are only assumptions and are not really based on facts as we have already discussed that international standards for global use of english is the restricted um, come falls under the restricted issues of standards and it is when english is needed for um, transnational uh, corporations and um, for use in different professions for example in maritime english etc the concerns that quirk uh, shares about these restricted um, areas of use of english are that um, he believes that varieties exemplify an incomplete command of english um, for various reasons uh, the native varieties of english according to quirk cannot be compared with the standard english and there is a lot of diversity in the in these varieties and for these restricted situations we need uh, to make sure that uh, what people speak is intelligible and uh, they are intelligible to each other so um, to ensure uh, uh, accurate correct communication uh, among people who have different uh, native languages and use english for mutual cooperation or for other professional purposes it, it is important that they learn the same variety of english the standard variety of english otherwise uh, communication may become a problem if they speak their own varieties so kirk believes that for the restricted use of english the standard english should be followed the standard english should be the model but when it comes to um, local standards uh, quirk believes that we can uh, work towards developing a local standard for um, different native varieties of english but this is um, possible this should be done only for the varieties or only in the countries where english is used uh, as an as an institutional institutionalized variety or as an official language for example the countries which were uh, colonies earlier Uh, in these uh, situations as well quirk believes that um, though they can have they can claim to have their own native varieties but the the fall the model that they should follow should be as close to the standard english as possible so the local norms should be based on an acrolectal variety that is the variety which is used by the educated class and which is as close to the standard standard english as possible um so we see that quirk does not seem to believe in the in this pluralistic view of uh, englishes and he believes that to ensure uh, better communication and to uh, ensure um, better business among countries it is important that all the users of english follow the same standard that is the native english